you ever find yourself running out of space for your controllers? Like you just don't know where to put them? Or you go to find your controller for your Xbox or your PlayStation and it's gone, it's just vanished, it's been taken by the controller fairy and they've hidden it and you'll never find it again. Well my friends, worry not, for in today's video, I have the solution just for you. Greetings, hello, my name is Jar Warlock, welcome back to the Zavi channel. I am here for Team Zavi with an unboxing. And as I mentioned, today's unboxing is all to do with controllers, or rather, things that you can store them on. In fact, these things. Cable guys, yes, cable guys, these are brilliant little things where you can store your controllers and charge them, or put your mobile phone so you'll never lose things again. Well, hopefully, that's the idea of them and I like them. I have three for you today. We have Crash Bandicoot, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the Vault Boy. But there is actually a huge range of these. Link in the description or click the title card that will take you to the Zabby website and you can see the ridiculous range of these that are available and they are awesome. But we're gonna look at these ones. We're gonna start this one with Crash Bandicoot. Yes, I don't know what a Bandicoot is, but he is one. Uh, developed by Naughty Dog, first appeared back in 1996 on the original PlayStation. There's been like eight main games and mobile games and all kinds of stuff. And Crash is awesome. That's all you need to know about that. This though is a cable guy. And there's even instructions in case you don't know how to use it. Take controller, place controller, Controller sits on man. Job done. Apparently this also comes with a two meter or six foot cable. So that's quite handy. Now I've got a knife and I'm gonna cut him out of here somehow. So this could be dangerous. Right, let's try and get this fella out. Give me, ha ha. Success. <laughs> what am I missing here? Grown man stumped by box. What? Oh, more sellotape. These are really well packed. I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> get rid of that. And then is he free? He's not free! There's more sellotape! I think he might be free. You are free! Yes, there we go. Free. Ooh. And there's the USB cable, which is always handy. So here we have Crash Bandicoot. That's actually a good weight. It is plastic. It is solid. It is going to hold your controller or whatever else you need. But I, that's really cool looking detail. Like Crash is a fantastic looking character. That's lovely painting. I need these when I get my new office. This is going in the backdrop to charge my controllers because I always lose them and I never charge them. But now I have a cable. In fact, let's find a controller. Controller, crash. Crash, hold controller. There we go. He's now holding the controller. Brilliant. Job done. And of course the cable, which you can then stick in the bottom of the controller and run underneath to charge it. That does its job. I really like that. These look really nice. Just the statues. These look really good. Anyway, we'll place him and the PlayStation controller over there and move on to the next one. Right, next, Fallout Boy, not Fallout Boy, Vault Boy um, from the Fallout games. It's very easy to get confused. Yes, here's the icon of the Fallout games. Uh, Fallout, of course, made by Bethesda, which is now owned by Microsoft. So this guy will be holding an Xbox controller. One cable. Well, this one's packaged slightly differently. This one's much easier to get out if you make a right mess of the box. Job done. Right, here's Vault Boy, and he looks like Vault Boy, and there it is. 76, because of course, Fallout 76 on the Xbox. But it's lovely detailing, it looks really nice. Thought occurs, is there a Bioshock version? Because I love Bioshock, and now I want some Bioshock versions. I know the Star Wars ones, like Boba Fett and stuff, and they look absolutely superb. So yes, there is the Fallout one, looking fantastic. Once again, beautiful colouring, a very interesting stance, but I guess he's got to lean back to be able to hold the controller. So let's give you an Xbox controller. Yeah, holds it fine. There we go. Holds the Xbox controller and of course the cable to charge it. Job done. Right, one more in this little set to go. And this is probably my favourite because as I've mentioned before, I'm a huge Sonic fan. So this one is Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't do that. I'll get copyright stricken. Stricken? Stroked. Striked. Words. Here is Sonic the Hedgehog, the cable guy. Um, mm, slight issue. There's no Sega controllers that I know of. So he will have to hold a Switch controller in this case. Right, we'll cut him out of the box and then we'll have a look at him. It's just occurred to me as well, Sonic first appeared in about, I think 1991 on the Genesis? Crash appeared in 1996. So Crash is only five years younger than Sonic. 30 years old, 25 years old. When, when did time move that fast? Someone let me know in the comments. Right, I've opened this the wrong way because I am an idiot. 
Right, what we need to do is open it this way. Right, here we go. Can we? Yes, we can. Let's take Sonic out of his box. There is Sonic. And now there's more things. Oh, wait. Ooh, this one might be easier. It appears to just be a cord. Right, haha. Brilliant. Oh. That actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. I couldn't see the spikes properly in the box, but look at that. You can see his Sonic Blue spikes. Lovely shoes, as I've said before, for some reason, based off Santa and Michael Jackson. I don't know. And his attitude was based on Bill Clinton. Very, very weird, but it works. Sonic is awesome. That's really cool. It's definitely the cartoon version. Not so much the film version, although I did enjoy the film. As I said, though, we don't have a controller for him, so we're going to have to use one of these Switch controllers. Perfect. But it did say you could use your phone. There we go. Just block his face out completely. Hold your phone and charge it on there. These are actually really useful. I'm realizing I could use these to hold a lot of different things. So Sonic does look really awesome there. And there's all three of them. Crash Bandicoot, Sonic, and the Vault Boy. And as I said, there is a link down below in the description because there are way more on the info card. Whichever side it's on, I'll just do a funky dance. One of these sides, it's up there. But these are cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you have some of these yourself? Which ones do you have and which one is the best one? Because I kind of want to collect these now. Because just as statues, they're really cool. And the fact they can hold your phone and controllers, that's kind of awesome. I've now found a new favorite thing that I didn't know was going to be my favorite thing. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I've been Joe Wallach. This has been Zabby. Thank you for watching. Keep it awesome. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.